I feel like as a fandom, we probably should talk about online harassment. Uh, but to quickly give a context as to why I'm going to speak about this, uh, we, we have an article here from The Hollywood Reporter saying that the Flash star Candace Patton wants to leave show as early as season two due to online harassment. And she says, I think anytime you hire anyone who is a minority of any kind, you have to pre- you have to be prepared to protect them because in the real world, we are not protected, the actress said, reflecting on making her debut on a CW series. Now, I don't really want to read the article because I reread it, but I'm and really there isn't much to say. Um, but she was basically saying that, you know, she believes that companies, studios and the CW specifically need to start protecting uh, their employees, actors, anyone from online harassment. She was saying that they need to start doing something about it. And look, let's not deny it. Uh, online harassment's normal, especially in our cu- current culture. Uh, the sad reality is there's a lot of anonymous, faceless dweebs on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, wherever online that just love, love, love to harass people because they have nothing better to do in their lives. And that's that's the sad reality. And the even sadder reality is if you are a person of color, you do tend to be mocked more. You tend to get a lot more harassment. Uh, I don't even want to bring this up, but Quantum TV. Now, Quantum TV is a piece of crap. It's a terrible piece of crap and does deserve some bullying. But I do genuinely believe the reason why YouTube hasn't done anything about Quantum TV is because Quantum TV, with all the hate he was receiving, he probably got called the N-word a lot. And that made YouTube... Uh, you know, they, they they got YouTube to support him, basically, because of the N-word usage, because that is the sad reality. I'll even give you one of my examples. A couple months ago when the whole Reva situation was happening with Moses Ingram and I made my video, I had some guy get really mad at me, and he went on my Instagram, he messaged me, and he called me a dirty spick. I put that on Twitter, I put it on my Instagram, but he called me a dirty spick, and he said that I was being racist towards white people. Uh, which I found a little silly because I do tend to sympathize with white people. I'm, I, I literally don't care. I don't care about diversity. Um, but the reality is a lot of people didn't like that Candace Patton got casted as Iris West. And I don't think it's necessarily race. I mean, there's there are, there are racists. I, this is something I said in my last video. I feel like people are using the term racism too, liter- too liberally to the point where it almost means nothing now. Uh, and... I don't think necessarily, I mean, it was racist. It's racist. They got mad at a black woman being Iris West. But I don't think necessarily the people are being racist. I think they're just being stupid. They're being ignorant. And they can't accept adaptations. I feel like we need to start having a bigger discussion about diversity, about how it's affecting uh, current culture. I'm somebody who's in for diversity. I don't care about diversity. But at the end of the day, I understand that, you know, times are changing. You know, these characters were made decades been decades ago some even a century ago that it makes sense they're going to modernize it by changing the race changing the gender uh because back in the day it was normal to just have a straight white male hero protect the straight white female and then that's simple superman batman spider-man you can name a lot of heroes that that are like that of course comics have changed but regardless candace Patton does make an interesting point saying that cw should have protected her from online harassment now, I'm going to say this right now, to Canada, and I don't mean this, no disrespect, but nobody can help you from online harassment. No one can. The only person who can help you from online harassment is you yourself. Um, the CW, no matter how much funds and resources they could have put into, there's nothing they could do about it because it's going to happen. Uh, maybe they could hire somebody to control her phone to where they can show only the positive stuff and all that. You're you're going to receive online harassment, whether it's death threats, racial threats. I don't I don't know. You you're just going to. That's the sad reality we have to accept. It's not a good one. We should accept, but you are going to have to accept that it's going to be there. And I don't. Honestly, I'm going to say this right now. Maybe it's a controversial take, but I genuinely think that when it comes to the internet, there needs to be a law passed where you can't be an anonymous person on the internet. You have to verify your identity now. When I say this, I don't mean that your social security, your phone number should be public. What I'm saying it's more your your first and last name and a profile picture of you. I think that honestly would solve online harassment. I think that would help because there's we've already seen the Internet cause an, a ripple effect through re- reality. I mean, just look, I don't want to get political, but remember last year in January 
when the White House got inv- invaded and for the first time in American history, there was a Confederate flag uh, flown, flown inside the White House because of the Internet. Um, and I do believe because I've, I've, I've myself have faced anonymous people making videos about me or, or c- talking crap about me. And look, I'm fine with criticism. I, I'm honestly somebody who's open to it. I remember a couple of months ago, somebody was calling me out saying that, hey, I think the way you're calling people racist is dangerous because now I'm kind of lessening the, the term. It's kind of like people now are so normalized to the term that it means nothing. And I actually agree with that person. I understood what they meant. And. Ever since then, I've been I stopped calling Ryan Kino geek gamers races and all that. But back to what I was saying, uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna happen. And the CW can't again. The only way I think online harassment can stop is the law being passed, where you have to verify your identity. And I think that's the only way. Uh, and because at least when you have to verify your identity, at least then you're more conscious about what you're saying and thinking like when I do my videos, I'm very conscious about what I'm saying. I'm thinking about what I'm about to say, because at the end of the day, I know this, since my face, my name is public information. I know that everything I say is going back to me. So if somebody, and I, and also I never know if one of my videos is going to go viral or maybe, maybe my channel blows up because then if that happens, then now a lot of people come to like, some people are going to recognize me and then they're going to be like, Hey, you're the guy that did this, that did that, you know, it's just going to happen. And I honestly think that you should have your identity verified online. I know some of you are going to get mad, but there's more good than bad uh, with that. Because again, we've seen harassment. I mean, there's, there's literally a guy that made a video about me calling me some of some very bad things. I'm not even going to go into details and he, he kept his face hidden. Now his face got leaked, and rightfully deservedly, but yeah, he has this tension where he'll go harass people, make fake accounts and all this. And I'm not going to say his name because I'm not going to give him any credit. Uh, but some of y'all are aware of who I'm talking about, but he's a creepy guy. He makes accounts, fake accounts, tries to harass people, tries to bully people, but he kept his identity hidden. He kept his name hidden because he's a faceless dweeb troll who has nothing better to do with his life. And that's just how, how the internet works. Um, now, Candace Patton, Patton, if I'm the only way really that for you to avoid online harassment is just don't use your phone. Don't go through it. I know that's difficult because either way, maybe someone in your personal life will remind you, like, let's say I make a 30 minute expose video on Candace Pattinson or not Pattinson, Patton. There's a there's a chance that somebody could probably tell her it's like, hey, somebody made an expose video on you or, or anything like that. Or maybe somebody sent you death threats or maybe your manager tells you or some something like that. So it's still difficult, but I understand her point. But Warner Bros. CW, they can't do anything. The only there's only two things they can really do. That's either take away your phone or get like a interim or something to figure out a way to where when you go to through your phone, Instagram, Twitter, you're only seeing positive things about yourself. And even, I guess, even to some extent, what you could do is maybe turn off the DMs on your Twitter, Instagram, and turn off comments on your social media. I think that's another way to avoid it. But honestly, there's no easy solution to this besides passing a law where you do have to verify your identity. I honestly don't see any other way. But this is a bigger, larger question, you know, and these fan circles... There's a lot of faceless anonymous dweebs who, again, have nothing better to their, with their life. So they go harass people because they realize they just don't have anything to do. And I genuinely think there's a it's a bigger problem in the Internet than people actually believe it is because there are people who will send. I mean, I think anyone with a decent sized following on social media has been sent death threats. Death threats have been so normalized and social media. To a point where they mean nothing anymore. When you hear H3H3 H3 or Keem start talk about them getting death threats, it means nothing because we're so used to hearing that. And that's not good. If in, if in person somebody told you, I'm going to kill you and murder you, then that would be a bad thing. But now because of social media, it's been normalized to just see a message saying, I'm going to kill you and your entire family. It's just been the normal. Um, and I, I honestly, like, again, if you notice, a lot of the people who send these threats, who send these things, they're anonymous dweebs. They're people who wouldn't do this in person, 
And again, they have nothing better to do with their lives. And again, I do believe a law like that should be passed. And I've not seen anyone be able to put up the debate. I, I always hear people saying, oh, but some people need their identity hidden. And I, and I also think to myself, well, why do you need your identity hidden? Like, why do you need that? Like, if you're not doing anything wrong, then cool. You can go watch PewDiePie. You can watch anything. Uh, but if you're going to comment like all this and that, you should have your identity identity verified. Uh, because again, there's actually been people who have been, because this is the reality. A lot of Twitch streamers get swatted and swatting ain't nothing. I mean, there's literally been murder cases because of swatting. And even sometimes when there's no deaths or anything, the person still left traumatized seeing multiple armed trained men break into their house, maybe harming their dog, harming the people around them, and then pinning them down live for thousands of people to watch. So I, honestly, I'm going to be strong about that. I genuinely think that there should be some online protection. Uh, now, I, I'll say this right now. I've gone crap before, but I, I've also learned, you know, you got to have a you, you do got to have a you got you, you can't be too sensitive online. It's, I mean, in, in real life, you can't be sensitive. You're going to get crap. You're going to be called fat. You're going to be called ugly. You're going to be called something. And if you're black, you're probably going to be called the N word, something like that. Um, so in, in person, in real life and on social media, you do have to learn how to have a thick skin, uh, because there's always going to be assholes. Even if the internet goes away, there's always going to be rude people. There's always going to be disgusting people. There's also, there's always going to be people like EDP 445 out there roaming the world, doing disgusting, terrible behaviors. And you do have to have a thick skin. And so I've learned that if I get comments, like negative comments, like I used to have a problem where when I would get negative comments, I would just debate this person so long until I realized, you know, I'm doing nothing but stressing myself out. And I learned, you know, just ignore them. It's easy. Ignore them, especially social media. On social media, you can ignore anyone because all you got to do is you see this phone, this turned on phone right here. Yeah, you just turn it off. Uh, you, could, you could just do that on your phone. Uh, I mean, I guess if the person finds your number and tries calling you, maybe. But then again, there is the do not disturb button but you do have to have a thick skin candace Patton. i I understand that maybe i wouldn't understand because i'm not a black woman and so maybe i wouldn't understand the levels of racism and sexism she's received but at the same time i don't know what else to tell you besides you know just don't use social media i mean i guess you can still post images i guess just as long as you don't read the comments or anything like that not only that, but you're too famous to care. I feel like when you're a celebrity, comments should stop getting through your skin, especially because how do you have the time to read all those comments? I mean, unless you're Kevin Durant, who it seems like Kevin Durant just spends his time on Twitter all the time. Uh, so for those who don't watch basketball, just go search up Kevin Durant's burner Twitter account. Just search it up on YouTube, and there's, it's a whole story. But... <laughs> But no, you you do have a you do have to have a thick skin because even in real life you're gonna get this crap, and the reality is you can't complain to CW because they can't do anything besides maybe just take away your phone. They don't have anything to do with it. They can't choose. I mean, I do think that social media companies or not social media companies, movie studios and all this, they do have to warn an actor before they sign a contract, like kind of what Lucasfilm did with with uh, Moses Ingram, where they're like, hey. You know, Star Wars fans, there's a lot of racist Star Wars fans out there, a lot of sexist Star Wars fans. So we're just going to let you know, hey, you're probably going to get some comments then and there. Uh, just move on from it. I mean, I think you should warn your actors. But at some extent, as as a person, you do have to accept that this is the sad reality. And that's why I think people should, especially celebrities, the people who get more online harassment, I feel like there should be more more advocate for for verifying your identity online because again i don't see another solution there's it's the only solution and i feel like it'll benefit everyone the only people this will not benefit is people who do bad stuff online who do horrible things who want to harass who want to dox who want to do all this thing because at least then when someone does something bad online we can at least verify oh who's this person okay let's call them out maybe it's his 14 year old kid who wants to be mean because he lives in a mansion but stills the press because his parents don't give him attention yeah you know what give a call to the parents you know you got to be kind of like the teachers like you got to be like the principal of a school you know if the, if the student does something bad you know call their parents and then there you go you know because if you notice a lot of the stuff it's t- it tends to be younger teenagers who do kind of this stupid stuff 
or not that, but let's say they, they do something stupid. Hey, even if it's an adult, hey, you call you call up their boss and say, hey, man, you really want this guy working for you, man? Because sad reality is that there needs to be some form of punishment. And banning your Twitter account is not really punishment, really. Um, you know, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it is a slippery slope, too, because... I guess maybe if you made an old racist joke back in 2010, I guess somebody could call your boss or something like that for that. But at the same time, I think there's still more good to be done with having to verify your identity. And not only that, but I feel like some people will figure will still be able to figure out a way to hide their identity online. But I don't know. But I think there should be a law passed like that, at least it'll lessen the tension. I think it's a win-win for everyone. If you're afraid of your identity being public, then just don't do stupid things. Or, you know, just don't use the internet. It's simple. It's simple as that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? I feel like I may have rustled some feathers about the anonymous thing. But whatever. I don't care. I, I feel like even if it's unpopular, it's my belief. It's what I'm going to advocate for. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah!